What's up, uh, Aquarius? This is Soul here, and Aquarius, this is your June uh, messages, reading regarding love and relationships. Um, the messages will be for um, single Aquarians and coupled Aquarians. Also, um, the rest, excuse me, the messages are for um, your moon and your rising sign. Okay, got that out. Anyway, so it looks like it's uh, for some of you I'm about to read for pretty good. Uh, let's just see what happens here. <laughs> okay, the energy that relates to uh, some of you uh, for the month of June. The past tries to return, okay? That's the Six of Cups, right off the bat. You know, I always like to get cups here. And uh, you actually have a pretty good cup. Whoa. We'll talk about that, though. Six of Cups, though, however, is in the reverse. So even though it's in the reverse, it could be a completion for some that may have allowed or someone who um, was in a relationship with someone from your past. They may have reached out or you may have tried to reach back towards them. This is a completion, but it's in the reverse, though. So normally I pick up the energy of it was a no go or if you have entertained letting somebody back into your past. Um, then things didn't work out. Because that six of cups energy is in a reverse position is whatever it is that um, you dealt with you'll get more of the same if you allow them to re-enter into your life. For the others, and the reason why it's showing up in the reverse position uh, for the month of June is that they still may have um, that energy, residual energy to still try to connect with you in the month of June, but it's a no-go. It's a no-go. And it's also getting over the letdown or disappointment some sort of emotional letdown or disappointment when it came to a partnership or um, yeah, could be a partnership or a just a partnership. I don't know what I was thinking of and trying to, you know, <laughs> deliver more. Six of Cups is uh, in the reverse. See, you have to think of the Cups as overflowing with emotions. Uh, sometimes I get the uh, energy related to, you know, sometimes tears, you know, sometimes, you know, it, if it's not outwardly expressed, it could be inwardly expressed. You know, you're crying inside. Um, but this is because of a letdown or something that can go right uh, for you in terms of an exchange with another person and this um, picking up energy related to the past. You know, someone from your past, they still have the. um potential of trying to come back in like i said the past returns or at least attempts to return but that is your call you know it would be your call based on the judgment card that crosses that you know major arcana that crosses the six of cups critical uh, you know being um harsh or judging this is an awareness card something you know hidden in the dark possibly could come to the light and this could be uh information related to yourself uh, when it comes to your relationships and just, you know, so, you know, I'm only talking about love and relationships. I'm not incorporating any other areas or aspects of your life, Aquarius. Um, things being revealed as, you know, I equate this sometimes with the uh, energy of the moon. Things hidden from you in the dark comes to the light. Judgment, judging uh, could be self-judgment, could be self uh criticizing criticizing others um could be criticizing or judging the relationship that you may be in overall could be criticizing or judging someone from your past that may have affected your emotions uh so many things that i'm picking up all right outside of the six of cups that shows up We have the Nine of Cups that follows the Judgment card. For any of those uh, Aquarians who are single, could be, you know, some sort of wish that comes true. Because it's definitely, excuse me, it's definitely related to, you know, it's the yes answer to any questions that you may have about anyone that you may be interested in. 
I equate this with the star card, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled, um, but gearing it towards romance. Nine of Cups is here in the upright. Emotional satisfaction, fulfillment, contentment based on relationships and connecting energies with another person. The Hierophant is the uh, relationship marriage card. So it could be, you know, some of you in the month of June get married or because it is the relationship card, it could be just the formation of a new relationship. That's for those singles. Uh, also, to the higher front shows up to um, uh, deliver a message that whatever, you know, situation that you're going through when it comes to your um, personal romantic relationships is to keep the faith and keep hope alive. Uh, and also, too, this is a teaching and learning uh, aspect of relationships so there's always something to teach another person and there's always something to learn from another person so allow your energy to remain open uh, but it's you know mostly could be positive it could be negative depending on your situation okay someone has something to teach you and you have something to teach them and vice versa you have something to learn and they have something to learn from you all right so marriage could be um in play for some of you and then what follows that Hierophant, the Hierophant, I'm sorry, I need my coffee. I neglected to say the Hierophant, I mean, the Nine of Cups represents Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female. But it's the yes card to any romantic question, so it doesn't really matter. Then you have the Six of Cups, as I said, starting off, where some of you may be, um, uh, you know, getting hit or trying to get hit from someone from your past that's that's a strong energy that i'm picking up queen of cups follows the higher font so this is the relationship a new relationship or the strengthening of an existing relationship okay the females looking forward this could also represent male energies also cancer scorpio pisces male or female again pay attention to your intuition when it comes to your relationships always go with your first uh Gut instinct is usually correct. Uh, she's, you know, uh, Queen of Cups is here to offer guidance when it comes to your love, but also to offer uh, an enormous amount of love and abundance, uh, satisfaction. Okay, so this could be for existing relationships or new relationships that develop in the month of June. And I feel that there is going to be a, quite a few Aquarians that I'm reading for. Uh, getting getting themselves involved in new relationships with that of the nine of cups showing up the higher font as the relationship card the queen of cups now you have the ace of wands and some of these relationships might be starting up very very quickly keep in mind the ace of wands page of wands and the eight of wands is always for me not only a fast approach to um, things coming your way and just keep it geared towards relationships. So there could be a startup of a new relationship that happens quickly, but news and surprises. It mirrors, ironically, the Eight of Wands, which is the last card that is in your um, spread. So <laughs> things may be starting up very, very quickly in terms of relationships. Eight of Wands is underneath the Queen of Cups. So there's a romantic relationship. Okay, that's going to start. It's going to start quickly. OK, you got the Ace of Wands always about fresh starts, new beginnings. Something is about to open up or start. And it could be uh, a new relationship that's based on uh, fire and passion. That's what these wands represents. Uh, could be, you know, energies related to Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter could be any zodiac sign in this energy what follows that ace of wands now aquarius is the six of wands which is more fire energy so positive things moving forward with the uh, uh could be existing relationships or uh, you know the start of a new relationship victory and success is the six of wands energy and also traveling could be involved but keep it you know focused on love and relationships so someone could be traveling uh, traveling could also be, you know, romantic uh, partners who are already established and, you know, they're going for a getaway or whatever, a romantic getaway. 
that could be what I'm seeing here in the Six of Wands. Um, partnerships, traveling. Five of Pentacles, for whatever reason why it's showing up here, it's indicative of a law. So, you know, I'm not trying to incorporate finances. Um, but it could be just a message that when somebody is feeling left out in the cold, I don't know if the uh, connection is um, linked to the Six of uh cups is showing up from someone from your past and someone feels you know feels left out in the cold because that's what this uh, five of pentacles represents generosity charity sometimes um but it's a loss it's indicative of a loss so representing taurus capricorn virgo male or female uh i don't know why this energy is here oh Okay, I got a message that there could be um, there may have been some sort of direct earth energy, true earth energy, where if I'm if I'm hearing this correctly, then it might be that there might have been an Aquarius. There was an earth sign that was uh, interested in Aquarius. And just to be, uh, you know, to hone on in this energy uh, exactly, it's the person who may have had a child, a young child, it indicated with the female and the child sitting next to her, but it's also too could be a male and, a, you know, this child could be a girl or a boy, but whatever. I feel that this was someone who was uh, single but had a child and there was a... There was Aquarius that turned them down or turned her down or him down. Something going on with that. That's the loss. Yeah, that's the loss. So I feel that the three of swords, which is your energy that shows up in the reverse position, is someone getting over underneath that higher font. This could be the completion of a marriage, a final divorce overcoming uh separation heartache from a relationship see the past grieving the past as i say the past will still try to reach out to uh, aquarius but apparently you're moving on or you're trying to move on from a relationship that didn't work out this is the loss indicated here but if it's not you know the loss and what I'm ter in terms of what I'm picking up here, it could be just what I said. Someone turned down uh, someone who was with a child. This is a single mother, father with a child. And then Aquarius sort of like turned them down in terms of a uh, partnership. And then it could be them who's getting over this disappointment or let down by you because the three of swords or heartache or grief is your energy. Gemini and um Libra, male or female. So that could be the case. Someone is over uh, coming some sort of heartache uh, related to a relationship that's at a distance. Always pick up a distance here with the three of swords. And the only time I like to see a three of swords is when it's in a reverse. Someone could be overcoming that separation involving a love triangle. Three, third party in play. Okay. Someone may have just walked away. Based on the card, you know, the fact that it's underneath the higher font, which is the major. You know, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm walking out because I'm tired of the pain and the grief. That's the three of swords in the reverse. If there is a true um, love relationship. Uh, three. Love triangle is what I'm trying to say. All right. Anyway, so the last card, which, uh, you know, mirrors the Ace of Wands is the Eight of Wands. So this is good communications, things happening very quickly, news and surprises. Underneath the Queen of Cups, that's definitely uh, news and surprise. Okay, because that's the relationship, you know, that Queen could represent male energies. I always get the older feel, but it could be, you know, um, the cups representing love and emotions. It could be any age group at this particular point in time. You have the nine of cups to support 
a yes answer if you are single and you're venturing out and you're trying to get yourself back into the dating game. Uh, and there's an interest or there could be, you know, because I always talk in past tense here. Uh, someone, you're just, you know, you're talking to right now. And then there's more developments, and you know, as time, um, you know, as the month of June opens up, which is tomorrow. So <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, but it looks pretty good, Aquarius. It really does. I, I like the fact that um, the three of swords shows up for you and it's in the reverse. You have uh the Queen of Cups, you have the higher font, the Nine of Cups. So this is a very positive reading. I always like to see those cups show up when I'm doing a general love reading. And the cups that you have are very, very positive, okay? Even the higher font is the relationship card, as I stated before. So it's either someone gets married, someone gets uh, completing a uh, final divorce. I mean, I could spend all day uh, depicting certain things that are coming out but this is pointless because it's a general reading all right so if, if it applies apply it. if it don't don't worry about it you still have two other videos to look at that may um offer information and resonate with you all right and then of course the Vir Vira Sibylla uh which could be in collaboration with this uh reading that I have just done for you Aquarius or it could be a standalone message whatever you choose to do is fine with me now since you're the third sign that I've done so far, everyone has gotten a spade. So, and I just said in the previous videos that the spades in uh, Vera Sibylla or Cartomancy in general are not good. They're not pleasant cards. So, what I have selected for you in the upright position is Vidalvo, okay? And this is basically uh, the Widower, okay? Three of spades. Three of spades in Cartomancy. All right, so let's see what it says. Uh regarding love okay first and foremost it says it's a very negative card all right a card of sadness remorse that's that three of swords here uh regret it predicts a uh, lack of support intense loneliness and isolation can represent a void or a loss that's the five of pentacles uh in love it heralds a separation arguments incompatibility rancor resentment towards another person a relationship that could be devoid of true love and growing apart okay so it goes into further details and this is the reason why i like using these cards because they're very descriptive and uh so far they are very accurate uh for me uh in doing my own using them for my own personal readings and uh And they never seem to um, fail me or surprise me in terms of the energy. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. So I hope it's helpful and beneficial uh, for you. I want to wish you all a very safe upcoming month ahead, full of love, of course, and light. Uh, safety, always emphasizing, emphasizing safety. Until I talk to you again, which will be soon since I'm falling behind on my readings. I got to buy weeklies to do. Just had a lot of shit going on uh, this past week. So until I talk to you again, Aquarius, please be well. This is nice. I like that for you. Take care. Bye.